Good evening, everybody. Alex Cartwright here with Laughing Life Healing, and it is 7 p.m. Central Time, which means it is time for another meditation moment. 7 p.m. Central on a Wednesday. Eh, whatever. So anyway, uh, tonight we are going to be doing a sensory perception meditation, um, just a fun exercise uh, that has a little deeper layer of kind of digging into your sense of self. So really fun. Hi, Michelle. Um, so as usual, we're going to give it a few minutes, let people get signed in, and we'll start the meditation at approximately 7.05. Um, so a couple quick things. There will be no meditation moment next week because one week from today, I will be completely unplugged. I am going on my annual, um, or tries to be annual, camping trip uh, up north with some, my godmother and my her son, who I refer to as my godmother, and uh, my son and myself. So uh, my husband doesn't like to go camping. Anyway, I'm gonna be in the wilderness. I will not have internet. I will not have electronics. No meditation moment next Wednesday. I apologize for that. Um, however, there is a great one tonight. So what we're gonna be doing tonight is um, you're going to uh, pick one label that you would apply to yourself that you, is a label you like about yourself or something that, you know, something that feels right to apply to yourself. It can be um, a description, it could be your occupation, it could be your astrological sign, um, it could be your gender identity, it could be a hobby that is really important to you, it could be um, just a personality trait. Any label you would give yourself. For example, um, a label that gets applied to me a lot that I love is bubbly. So that's that's my example is bubbly and this is sort of an abstract sort of an idea um, and so then what we're going to do with the meditation is you're going to oh thanks Michelle and hi Connie um, what we're gonna do with the meditation is you're going to take this aspect of yourself whatever label you've chosen to go with about yourself and we're going to explore it with each of our senses and that could mean different things depending on what you've gone with as your label it could be abstract it could be concrete whatever your mind wants to do with it is going to be the right way to take it for your personal meditation so don't stress about what I mean just go with what you think it should mean what feels right really just allow it to flow that way so um I know I had something else I needed to mention to you guys. Um, oh, I have a new uh, article coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, it's an article actually on the five precepts of Reiki and how you can use them in your everyday life. Um, no Reiki training required. Uh, so that's going to be a good article that I'll be putting up tomorrow and yeah, I guess, yeah, that and the fact that no meditation moment next week um, were my big things. So, okay, it's 7.04. Go ahead and start getting settled in, get yourself seated or laying down however you need to be for your meditation. Um, rest your hands comfortably. Your spine should be straight but relaxed as you settle in. <coughs> and I want you to go ahead and just start to pay attention to your breath. Go ahead and close your eyes. And begin to watch your breath as it makes the journey from your nostrils through your throat and your chest all the way down to your diaphragm and your belly. And then journeys all the way back out. 
and I want you to go ahead and take three really nice deep breaths, as deep as you can make them, inhaling fully, exhaling very fully at your own pace. And once you've completed these three breaths, just go ahead and fall into your natural breathing pattern, watching the breath and allowing yourself to relax deeper and deeper with each exhale. If you haven't already done so, I want you to choose a label for yourself. If you've already chosen it, just concentrate on this word. Visualize the word written out in your head or phrase, whatever this description is. It's probably fairly short. Again, this could be occupation, astrological sign any type of personality trait or gender identity, anything that describes you and who you are, just choose one. Of course, there are many, many, many options. And just see this description of yourself, this label See it in your mind's eye, just written out. And today we're going to explore this concept of yourself with each of the five physical sensations. Contemplate the sensation of touch. I want you to think about what concrete things you can actually feel and touch that are associated with this word. This could be something concrete, like a part of your job. It could be something you wear when performing a hobby. So anything that has to do with this label, if your description is more abstract, like mine, bubbly, perhaps you feel the bubbles or anything like that. Whatever your mind wants to do with this, that is where you should go. So just think of the ways that touch applies to this label that you put on yourself. So bring the sensations of these things that you can touch as close to your mind as you can. Imagine that you're really touching them. of smell. So I want you to think of what smells would be associated with whatever description you are using for your self. This can be a very abstract concept. Whatever smells 
come to mind regarding this aspect of yourself, just embrace that and bring those scents clearly to your mind's eye. nose as it were. Now that we've really gripped on to the smells associated with this description, I want you to take a moment and think about how this label tastes. Whatever that means to you, with whatever label you've chosen, just think about what taste is associated with it. See if any specific foods come to mind. Or maybe something else. Bring that sensation as though you're really, really tasting it. Make bubbles taste like cotton candy in case you were curious. Next, we're going to think about our actual sight. What do you actually picture in your mind? You've probably pictured many things at this point having to do with this label. But what I want you to really focus on visually is how you see yourself in reference to this specific label. What sorts of facial expressions do you imagine on yourself when you are embodying this label? What are you wearing? What do your actions look like? Picture yourself as clearly as you can embodying this label as fully as you can. Think about the sounds that you associate with this label. Think about what you hear when you are embodying this label. If you hear music, talking, maybe you hear wildlife. It all depends on what this label means for you and who you are. Take a moment to recognize what sounds come to you when you study this aspect of yourself. Finally, just take a moment and think about what this label means to you as a part of you. 
and how much you learned by opening yourself up to experiencing this aspect of yourself with each of your senses. Sometimes just taking a moment to be conscious of the way we see ourselves can be very, very healing. So thank yourself for taking the time to relax and tune in to your senses so very deeply. When you're ready, smile, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and when you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. All right, guys, I would love to hear what label you chose and um, if you'd like to share what sorts of things came up with your sensory perception. Um, I, I would chose bubbles. Of course, bubbly is the label that I chose for myself. And so going through the senses, touching, I felt the very smooth, um, slippery sensation of the outside of the bubbles. It was very literal. And uh, then for um, smell, they smelled sweet like candy floss, and they tasted like cotton candy. Um, these literal bubbles I had in my head. And uh, then for um, sight and how I see myself as a bubbly person, I um, saw myself smiling and sort of radiant. Um, and then for sound, I actually, I, I heard myself performing on stage because I used to tour as a musician and I still, I still perform for charity events and such and for fun. Um, so, and the whole bubbly thing came about because of my stage presence singing. So I heard myself singing during that part. So that's what came up for me. Um, with that particular label. And this is a meditation you can try with so many different things that you would apply to yourself, good and bad, to really study how you see yourself and why. It can really open up your mind and it's very, very relaxing. So uh, feel free to revisit this at any time with any number of labels uh, or anything like that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, oh, Cassandra, yeah. You, Definitely catch the replay. I think you'll enjoy this one for sure. And you are welcome, uh, Michelle and everybody else. I, I really hope you guys loved it. Remember, there is no meditation moment next week. I will be in the Boundary Waters canoe area, um, which is up in northern Minnesota, and I will be completely disconnected from internet land. So... Yay me. Um, but there will be a meditation moment the following Wednesday, of course. So I love you all. Mwah. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. Um, look for my new blog post tomorrow on how the five precepts of Reiki can help you in your everyday life, even if you have not studied Reiki. And um, yeah, have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.